they say blood, sweat, and tears in lacrosse. So definitely putting in 100% effort at all times. We try to keep a family mindset, but when it's game time, it's game time. When the lights come on, they're always ready. This year, this team has been the closest that I've ever seen a South Forsyth team been. We all have each other's backs because we've all put in the work together, and I think that's what makes us able to fight every game every quarter. That's the great thing about this team is we've had a lot of them. I mean, we've won five games by one goal, and every single one of them, you can look back and see that we fought every single quarter down to the last second to be able to win those games. The West game was one of my favorite games. It was a testament to our resiliency as a team. We went down, I think we were down 5-2 at one point, but against a region rival and probably one of our biggest rivals. We were able to kind of stay in it, not let the emotions get to our heads, and kind of mount come back and put ourselves in a position to win a game, a close game, against a region rival. We're a tough and physical team, and we're going to give you the best we got at every single game, no matter who you are, no matter what your record is. In the game against West, I saw the team become closer and closer throughout that game and just bond together, and I think what we've been working on all year really showed throughout that game. So instant brotherhood, you know, I step out on the field and I know each and every one of my teammates on that field has my back no matter what. Come on here, intensity, energy, we've got to hear really what you're doing. Really a sense of pride when whenever we play each other. Number 14, Clay Wall. Eagles jump ahead, nine. We always just go back and forth every year. We've been playing against them since we were kids, and it's just a big game. We have a very gritty team. We have a bunch of grinders. We keep games close. Our defense keeps us in, and our offense finishes off. Every single year we find a way to get in the field and win, and get in the field and succeed. working, uh, hard work beats talent when talent fails to work hard. The intangible traits that you learn as being on the team, like communication, teamwork, effort, having good communication skills, it's just stuff that you learn with a team that helps you uh, later on in life. Definitely a John's Creek game. I think we went down 4-0 and we were all down ourselves and we just 
at halftime, you know, we got together and said, hey, we got to come on fire and we got to get this together, play as a unit, you know. One goal, energy. Second goal, energy. Third goal, we just kept it rolling. And I mean, no matter what happens in the beginning, middle, end of the game, just know that the fight will be coming. And there's no fight too big for us, and we'll always have a will and a drive in the game. four years here, especially this year, being a leader on the team, being a teammate, being a brother, and learning how to be coached. On the team, every single person, they bring something to the table. They just are valued, and we appreciate everybody who's there on the team. We've stuck together as a brotherhood, and we've had a winning record every single year. It's a home. It's a home for me. I can go and practice, or go to play a game, and be among my best friends on the team and it just gives me a sense of feeling and it's an honor to be able to be a part of the team and be a part of South Forsyth. We're so tight together, we're so connected, on and off the field too. As these are some of my best friends, to be able to go out there with my brothers that I call them every single day it means a lot. We're just a strong physical team, We're not going to hold back, we hit hard, we don't quit. For the future, just keep on working and keep that stick in your hand and keep working out all throughout the off season so we can pick right back up next spring.